We've been getting lots of requests to update our what to buy to start your studio list. So here's the updated list for 2017. You know, after working in this business for 25 plus years, I really understand the things that photographers and videographers face. I know the industry. I know what you need to overcome the problems that you face. Sit down with me in a mentoring session. And I'll help you overcome the problems that you're facing. Sometimes you just hit a wall and you need some help. I can definitely do that for you. So go to thuslandandlens.com, click on the mentoring button, and set up a time when we can Skype together and I can help you solve your problems. Hi, this is JP Morgan. Today on the Slant Lens, we're gonna take a look at that how to start your studio, the equipment you need to buy to start your studio, from three different points of view. We're gonna update it today. You can look at those three different places to enter in the market and to be able to put together enough equipment that you can get out, take pictures, and make some money. And that's what this is all about, is giving you the equipment you need to, when you say start your studio, is to start to make money in photography. This list is starting your studio from scratch. It doesn't take into account you may have a camera and a lens already, uh, or you may have a computer already. I think the one thing we didn't put in this list that you really kind of have to have is some way to look at images. A computer, a laptop, some way to be able to look at images. Does not have to be a Macintosh. Does not have to be a brand new Macintosh. But some way to be able to look at images. That's not included in these numbers. This first category is $1,300. This is a very inexpensive way to get into the market and to be able to make some money. It's around $1,300, so let's take a look at it. First, a Canon Rebel T7i. And it's going to have an 18 to 55 millimeter lens as a kit lens. This is a great entry point. When people ask me what camera should I buy when I just want to start in photography, this is the camera you should buy. You can even go down a little more to the older ones, the T5i or one of those as well. But the T7i is brand new, comes out in March. It's a great place to start. With that, you're going to have to have some way to augment the light. So I've got a Photoflex multi-disc uh, reflector in there. So you've got that reflector so you can bounce a little light in on the person. You can be shooting mostly with natural light with this kind of $1,300 kit. You're not going to have money for strobes and things. You're going to need a stand to be able to put that reflector on. So that Kupo stand, it's kind of their universal stand. That, that stand will last you your entire career. Uh, it truly will, and you'll probably abuse it, it to death. Then we're going to have a SanDisk uh, 64 gig card. Interestingly enough, when I did this lesson last time, you could hardly get a 32 gig card for this price of $35. Now you can get a 64 gig card. So things, those cards have dropped down in price quite a bit. An A clamp, so you can just clamp your reflector on the stand. And we're gonna add a tripod, the Vanguard Alta 233AGH tripod that has the pistol grip on it. The reason I put a tripod in this kit, and a lot of you are thinking, well, I would probably never use that. I want you to learn how to use a tripod. I want you to learn what a quarter 20 is. I want you to learn how to put your camera on it. I want that to become part of your workflow. And think about times you're going to use that. You won't always use it, but you use it sometime. And last of all, we've got to have a card reader, a way to be able to read your card so you can look at it on your computer. So just to recap the list, we've got a Canon 7Ti with a lens. We've got a reflector, a stand to put that reflector on, an A-clamp to hold the reflector. We've got a tripod to start to learn how to use our tripod. And we've got a card reader and a card, and we're off and ready to go. So in this next kit, we're going to raise our price to almost $3,000. It's going to give us the ability to get a little nicer camera and some things, but it's going to give us some options we didn't have in our beginning kit. First, we're going to start with a Canon EOS 77D. This is a new camera that's just coming out. It's a crop sensor camera, but a fabulous camera with a great pixel count. So check that one out. We're going to put with it, though, a 28 to 75 millimeter lens. It's a crop sensor lens, so it's made for that camera. So it's a true 28 to 75 2.8 lens. But that's more of a wide to portrait lens, and I like that lens a lot because of that. A 75 millimeter gives you the ability to get on the face a little better. It's a nicer kind of portrait lens. We're gonna also go now with some strobes. We're gonna do two of the Baja B4s. So they have two B4s, those B4s and that battery platform. You can take that out on location, shoot anywhere you need to with it. It's just a fabulous way to work. But with strobes, you gotta have several things to support them. We've got a wireless transmitter, then we've got to be able to modify our strobe. So we've got a Photoflex extra small Octodome. I like the Octodome because it's round. It gives you a nice catch light in the eye. It's just a pretty look for me. And one Photoflex convertible umbrella. I love that convertible umbrella because you can pull the cover off from it and shoot through it, get a beautiful light like that, or you can leave the cover on and bounce out of it. It's a great light. So then we've got to have a speed ring for our softbox. We're going to add that as well. And we're still going to keep our Photoflex uh, multi-disc reflector. We now have three stands, one for each of our heads and one for our reflector. We've got our 64 gig uh, memory card, a card reader, an A-clamp, and our tripod, our Vanguard uh, 233 AGH tripod. And there's our $3,000 kit. Now in this last kit, we're gonna go all the way to almost $5,500. It gives us a lot more options. We're starting to get into more professional equipment and equipment that'll last you uh, throughout your entire career. We're going to step up to an older camera, and there's a, a reason I do this. I like the EOS 6D. I like the 6D because it's a full-frame camera. 
you have the ability now to have a, a high pixel count on a full frame, just gives you gorgeous images, and, but it's a very inexpensive way to get into the market if you're going to get into that full frame world, and I think you should. So I think it's a great camera. We're going to step up to a 2470, so a true 2470, it's a Tamron uh, 2470 2.8 throughout, which gives you a great lens to use on that full frame camera. We have our Baja B6, so we have a B6, so a little more power, and then we have two of our Baja B4s. So we now have a three strobe kit, so you can do three point lighting. You can have a key light, a rim light, and a fill light, and just to be able to set things up in the studio and on location with those Bajas, you have that ability to be outside, inside. It works fabulously. We're gonna have three speed rings now, so we can put modifiers on all three of the lights that we choose for, or just one, two, or three, whatever we'd like to have. We're gonna, again, we need our wireless triggers so we can fire them. We now have three strobe heads, so we've got to modify those strobe heads. So I've included an extra small octodome, which is very small, gives you a nice catch light in the eye, and a small octodome, which is a larger octodome. You could replace this small octodome with a softbox, a medium softbox. Both of those would be interchangeable, do very similar kinds of things. You have to decide which one works best for you. Then we go to that convertible umbrella, so we now have our three ways to modify those three different lights, which gives us some options. We have our speed rings to be able to put uh, modifiers on those lights. And then we have to have four stands, three for our uh, lights and one for our reflector. This is a very solid kit now. You have the ability to put up a reflector and a light or three lights and a reflector. Got a lot of options with that setup. Last of all, we've got our SanDisk 64 gig card. And I think on this one, I'm going to sneak in two SanDisk 64 gig cards because you're gonna need them and maybe even three. I think you can always get three in this package and still keep it at that price of uh, $5,300. And then we have our A-clamp. Got to have an A-clamp for your reflector. And last of all, I'm going to step up to a much nicer tripod. This is the Vanguard Alta Pro 284 Carbon uh, tripod. They're lightweight. They're fabulous to carry around. They're much more expensive, but just the lightweight uh, portability of this tripod makes it worth the money you spend on it. So there's your kit. Your 60, your 2470, your three uh, monoblocks, your modifiers, your reflector, your stands, your A-clamp, your card reader, your tripod and you're ready to go. So there you have it. There's three entry points into the world of making money with your camera. The first one is just about camera and just one little reflector. Second one is more about strobes, be able to give you more ability to shoot in different places, different times. And the last one gives you a really nice full frame camera that gives you the ability to give you great images and a full three uh, point lighting system. So check those out. Figure out which one works best for you. Take a little bit of each if it works for you to do that. Most of this equipment is going to last you your entire career with the exception of the cameras and lenses. You're probably going to want to upgrade those as you become a little more professional. As you understand you want to do different things, you're going to change those out. But the rest of the equipment is going to last you pretty much the rest of your career. So keep those cameras rolling, keep on clicking. If you want just a great workhorse lighting kit, that's this new Starlight Kit by Photoflex. We're giving one away now, so get over to thesalinlens.com and sign up today. It's the lights, the softboxes, the stands, and a case, so get over there. Subscribe to The Slender Lens, like all my buddies here did. You can come and hang out with us. We have a wild time together, me and my buddies here, my mannequin buddies. We have a great time together, so come and join The Slender Lens. Subscribe. You can be friends with us too.